Good day, guys. Nice meeting you. I'm Ang. Today, I shall be sharing a useful Excel function named VLOOKUP. This is very useful when we are doing those reporting or we are searching all those information from different files that we want to copy paste some information over here, but it's very difficult to do it manually. For example, I'm having a report now that I'm trying to compile from different sources that um, let's say here is the customer name then I would like to do I would like to check the customer number in the system but the thing is that um, if I'm looking and I extracted the file from another um, Excel but if I'm looking it manually then it might consist all those different kind of data in the middle then I would like to copy this column over here so first of all it's manual secondly it's risky of copy the wrong thing then ended up I might giving the wrong report to my manager or to my partners to my to my counterpart so it's not a favor ways of working then there is one better solution I would say that thanks to Excel they provided us this function which I can do it pretty fast so let me show you how I, it works the function name is VLOOKUP so in order to do that we start with the formula equivalent VLOOKUP and we will put a blanket starting blanket here where what are the things I'm looking at is the ABC then from from another Excel here A to H A to E column so you can see I'm, I'm trying to get this E column information then uh, my, my data is starting from A after I copy here I put another comma back to my original Excel then how many columns from A to E the Excel just now is five in total then the last one will be exact match or approximate match so I want it to be exactly match so I will put false false is zero then close the blanket and once I hit enter I get the information I want by putting at the right bottom here there's a plus sign I double click it immediately it cascade all the information over here just maybe a quick check I just simply copy uh, XYZ and I look up here yeah XYZ equivalent to 652 in my system so yes it get the right information so to explain a little bit more about this formula it means that what I'm what am I looking at I'm looking at XYZ from this column that between A to E then total of five five columns in five um, columns and uh, I want it to be exact match eventually there is one simple way or I would say a more clear um, way to, to do this formula so let's say I'm doing it here my customer ordered this item six but I, I when I compiling this report sending to my counterpart and want them to know what is the full description of this item so again I'm I report I downloaded another report so the other report I put it in another sheet eventually instead of putting in another Excel at different location you might think that putting it next sheet will be better solution because if you are moving the other file or changing the location if you are doing it in another sheet it won't affect the VLOOKUP result but if let's say you, you are doing this VLOOKUP here then in future maybe one day you remove this customer file from the system then when you reopen this one Excel training one VLOOKUP file everything here will gone missing because the file they are looking at this customer dot xlsx no longer valid so if you are doing it um, in the same file but another sheet it works well as well 
So let's try again. Equivalent, we look up. Instead of opening the open blanket by yourself, there's another way is that you press on Control plus A in your keyboard. Control A, then immediately you get this function arguments. From this function argument, then it's easier for us to actually um, know what other things that this um, formula needs. So first of all, what are we looking at? We are looking at item 6. From where? From this table A to H. Then um, how many columns in total? From A to H, it consists of 8 columns. Then what are the range lookup? I want it to be exact match, so I will put 0. Then once I hit enter, and cascade it, immediately I get all the results, regardless of thousands of lines or even more than that. So this is a quick shortcut and safer way, I would say, that when we do all those reporting. Just a quick checkup for item 4. It should be item 4, pink, shiny, white. Let's take a look. Item 4, item 4, pink, shiny. Yes, so this is the right one. Then, so from here is a better way to doing that. To explain a little bit more about this 0 and 1, which is um, false and true function. So let's say I'm just doing an example here. I'm putting a wrong data from the original file item 10. Then if I'm doing the same formula here, when I'm doing is false exact match, then obviously that the Excel could not locate item 10 from here. Hence, the result will be not available and A here. But if I'm doing one approximate match, then it will give me some random, I would say not so accurate um, result. So if you are doing a proper reporting, always use zero. Then you will get the a and you will get the exact match and accurate data. So that's all for today. Just a very simple and quick sharing about VLOOKUP function in the Microsoft Excel. We was, mm, if you like this video, please remember to subscribe and like and comment to LYS staff channel. We will see you soon. Okay, bye bye.